Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host Mark Fusco here for another episode of the show. And uh, we've got, uh, we're going to do some wines today, a few of them, uh, not all in one shot. Actually, I hope I don't have all the wines in the shot here. Put those out the way. Um, anyway, so uh, last episode was supposed to be 209, uh, made that 207. We're going to do a few more episodes here. Uh, this is number 208. And... Um, we're recording quite a few today. Uh, first off, we won't have a we won't have the joint 210 episode. Unfortunately, uh, Ceci uh, won't be able to uh, to coordinate her schedule to uh, match with mine. So I'm just going to push on, and we'll have another collaboration at some point. Uh, maybe some other number that's significant, or just just get together and do a collaboration. Um, also, authentication failed. Um, this is the day of uh, the whole SOPA thing, and I'm trying to do my usual thing of broadcasting live on Ustream, and I'm not saying that the whole SOPA thing is causing Ustream to be um, difficult or not work, but um, it doesn't seem to be working very well today. So hey, you know, if I get it to work on one of these episodes, cool, if you happen to watch the live that's also, um, but let's uh, let's get into some wine here. Um, I did buy a did buy a, a bunch of wine recently, and uh, you'll see that not necessarily all of these that I'm about to do, but you'll see that I have uh, I did get a few Italian wines because I hadn't done any Italian wines in a while, and I'm also trying to expand the palette of varietals I've never had to also try to get to that Century Club on there. All right, so let's uh, let's go right into this. This is the uh, Branchiforti. Um, from Sicilia, from Feudi Bodonardo. All right, try to get that. Um, it is the 2009 uh, vintage. This is uh, from Sicily. And uh, it is the two varietals that are here are the Inzolia and Greciano. Oh, no, sorry, Grecianico. Or Gre Grecanico. 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 Yes. Read these things a little bit more carefully before I start spouting off. Hey, it looks like it's starting to come up now. Um, anyway, um, of course, with Ustream being really wonky, even if I'm broadcasting, people probably can't even see it. Anyway, uh, so these are two uh, Italian varietals. Um, Inzolia is basically a Sicilian varietal. Um, uh, Grecanico is also... Um, Italian varietal is grown a lot in the Veneto region, but there's also some plantings in Sicily, um, so they're combined. Come on, get going. <laughs> um, so, uh, as you can see, it's a white wine. I uh, bought this for $8.99 at Specs um, recently. So, let's get right into it. I'm not used to drinking with the right hand. So, um, all the wine's been open for a while because I've been just kind of messing around with the computer. I get, I don't know, it's just kind of a, a for me, a stereotypical um, white wine nose, um, just general citrus. I feel like I'm smelling the, the peach skin type of thing. So maybe hints of peach. But really, other than that, I don't get much at all. Um, again, it's just a. I think it's just a my own lack of skill in in white wines. I 
No, oh, it's pretty acidic. It's really hitting the very front part of my tongue there. Um, I'd say medium to high acidity, almost high. I'd say actually almost high acidity. I'm um, not real focused, um, but not really flabby. It's not like all over the place. It's 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 kind of contained in my tongue. Uh, as far as the as far as the palate, the, as far as the flavors, again, I'm getting the typical citrusy type of stuff. Um, not a whole lot of lemon. Um, maybe a bit of maybe a bit of that peach in, in there, I and mean, that might be also just because I smell the peach fuzz or smell the peach skin. Just a, a very citrusy thing. I, I, I don't get. In other words, I don't really. Nothing pops out. Nothing really hits me. Uh, I couldn't tell the difference between this and. Oh, I don't know, an Albarino or. I mean, I would know it's not a Sauvignon Blanc, but you know, Pinot Grigio, an Albarino, one of these. You know, one of those. I, I find a lot of times being a somewhat generic. Um, in my mind, generic white wines, um, uh, Chardonnays and Sauvignon Blancs, and well, and then you got Moscatos, like, but they, they, they're like the only ones that really always pop out, and I'm always able to go, oh, that's this, but this, I, if you told me it was Pinot Grigio, I'd believe you, um, though, I mean, it tastes a little different from that, but um, I don't find anything spectacular or, or, or memorable, I would say, about it to make me go, ah, this is an you know, in, in Zolia Gre Grecanico blend or a Sicilian wine or anything like that. Now, maybe if I tried more of it and I really kind of like let it just come, maybe it would, maybe I would get more out of it. But right now, no. Yeah, as far as the score on the wine, it's a wine. It's not bad. It's 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 definitely not bad wine. It's you know it's all right. Um, I'd say eighty three. I mean it's not a horrible wine, but it's but to me there's nothing memorable about it. So there's nothing to put it in that that eighty five to ninety point range. Um, it's not, but then again, I, I wouldn't say it's undrinkable. It's drinkable. I uh, chill a little bit. It's probably very pleasant. Um, but again, it's it's not it's not. No one's going to really remember this wine as being great or, or wonderful. At least not in my opinion. I'm not going to remember it being great. It's going to be easy drinking and be like okay for nine dollars. There's other wines out there that are good. I mean, I've had the experience of trying it. Uh, I've got a whole bottle now to to kind of go through and maybe really go into it. Um, I've had other bottles where I've my initial thought was not much was going on there and then as I drank more of it I found out I liked it better or I thought the wine was really great and then as I drank the rest of the bottle it was like maybe my initial reaction wasn't the best um, so um, that's it for the wine let's see what else um, <clears throat> yeah the whole SOPA things going on today um, everyone's, all these people are, you know, all these websites are going dark or bringing themselves down or whatever. Uh, like I said, Ustream's not even working, which again, I don't think it's the, the SOPA thing necessarily. Um, but uh, uh, quick little um, comment about that, of course, this is going to be all after the fact, is that um, if you turned your JavaScript off on your browser, whether it's a mobile browser, your computer browser, um, the websites came up just fine. Because what they all did is they put a little JavaScript in there to do something to either make it not visible or put a little message up, which is fine. As a matter of fact, I, I don't support SOPA or PIPA. I, I, think, I think they're bad laws, but um, I thought it was just kind of funny that you could work around it if you knew what you were doing. I mean, if you're going to take if you're going to take your website down, take it down, or or put one put the page up and be like, hey, for 12 hours, we're, you're not all you're going to see is this. I think that would have been um, that would have been what they should have done, but they had the little out. That's fine, because uh, hey, I got the book of knowledge going on right there. Hey, 
proof positive it's working without the uh, JavaScript. Um, okay, so um, that's going to do it for today's episode. Um, as always, uh, stop by the website. Uh, I'll have well, there really weren't any links for this particular wine um, to click below, uh, but friend me up. Uh, leave comments below and uh, all that kind of stuff. Um, if you uh, like what you see, make a donation and um, on PayPal, and that's going to be it. We'll see everyone next time. Mm -hmm.